last video, we focused on how the essay is scored. But it's also important to understand the actual process that you should use on test day. How should you go about analyzing the passage, and how do you actually write the essay? What format should it take, or is there a template you can use? Well, let's walk through this process together. The first step should always be to read the passage, and this can be very similar to how you read passages on the reading section of the test. But instead of focusing too much on the what, you want to focus more on the how. How is the author making their argument? How are they using evidence to support that argument? That's going to be very important here. Once you're done reading the passage, you can move on to step two, which is come up with three topics for body paragraphs. So I'm going to walk you through the template we can use for essays in a moment, but this is a really important step here. Many people forget what kind of essay they're actually trying to write here. We're not coming up with our own argument. We're not trying to make something else up. We are actually trying to analyze the author's argument from the passage. And in many ways, this is a persuasive essay. You're not trying to persuade the reader of a new argument, but you are trying to persuade them that the author made their argument a certain way. And that's why evidence that you find in the first step is very important. How that author made the argument in the first place. Okay, so you need to come up with three topics that you can use in body paragraphs. This is very important. So things that can support the main idea that you're going to be writing about in your essay. All right, once you're done with that, then you can actually start writing your essay. So what should your essay actually look like? Well, the good news is that the College Board has released a lot of sample essays, and this can tell us what they consider a good scoring essay. Now, I know we already talked about scores in the last video, but it's important to recognize patterns here. And all of our top scoring essays that we have from the College Board include a very similar template for what the essay actually looks like. And it looks something like this. So it actually starts with an introductory paragraph. So the first paragraph is an introduction, and then you have these three body paragraphs that you get from this second step here, and then we have one conclusion. Okay, this is the standard template that we find in all top scoring essays, and it's what I would encourage you to use every time. There's just no reason to do anything else. Start off with an introduction, introduce the author's argument and what you're about to talk about, and then lead into one paragraph for each of your your topics you came up with in step two, and then finish out with a conclusion. And that's really it. That should be your standard template. So if you are doing some practice on essays, make sure you're remembering this process and kind of follow it to fulfill the standard template that we see on top scoring essays.